to my channel my name is Obongi that African lady if you're new here if you're welcome don't forget to click on the subscribe button below and turn on post notifications so that you'll be notified when I post new videos all right so today I want to talk about 11 red flags in relationships that you shouldn't I would like to say this, get to know yourself in every possible way before you enter into a relationship, into a committed relationship. So red flags, what are red flags? Red flags are indicators that something needs to be questioned or validated. Sometimes they are signs that you shouldn't be in a relationship. Not all relationships are healthy. Not all relationships are worth saving. There are some that you need to run away from, and so I am going to be giving you some 11 red flags, some red flags that you should look out for in a relationship. For some of these red flags, if the people in need are willing to change or work on it, fine, but if they are not willing to work on it, whatever you allow will always increase, right, in, in the future of the relationship and even in marriage. So, the first thing I want to say is lack of effective communication if you have a partner or in a relationship and your partner doesn't like to talk about issues when you guys have arguments they either like to sweep it under the carpet that is the red flag communication is very important in relationship it is key to have a successful relationship any form of relationship communication is important and so if you have a partner that when you have to talk about things, they are not just available, or they give you, they, they stonewall you, they um, they are moody about it, or they give you a silent treatment, then you should check it because in your relationship you have to communicate about everything and anything. That is like the pillar of the relationship. And so, if your partner is not willing to learn how to effectively communicate, then it's a red flag for you. The second thing I want to talk about is lack of a model marriage or not accountable to someone. If you have a partner that has not seen, growing up has never seen empty relationships, there are some people that came up from home like that and they've never experienced an elder relationship. There's something about mirror effects. What, what, that's why they tell you that surround yourself with positive people, surround yourself with uh, positive people, don't surround yourself with negative people because mirror effects happens to everyone of us. Those you surround yourself with over the time, you become like them. And so if you have a partner that has not been modeled, an elder relationship has not been modeled to the person, it will subconsciously affect the person in his or her own relationship. And we understand that not everyone has it all together. They didn't come from great, great homes or something else. They've never seen something like that. But they have to be accountable to someone or they are learning from a model relationship. They are learning from a model matured and elder relationship. So that's the second red flag. This person does not have a model elder relationship or is not accountable to someone. Or they're not even willing to learn. The third red flag is irresponsible and immature if your partner is irresponsible and immature you need to have a discussion, a discussion with them and help them see why they need to start taking responsibilities this is how you know someone that is irresponsible and immature they give excuses for everything they don't like to take responsibilities for anything they can't hold on to a job or a business they are jumping from one place to the other or they can't even manage their finances they can't manage themselves their debts running away from one person or the other because they are going there that is a red flag because if that is allowed in your relationship and you're in a committed relationship it's going to go it's become double in marriage and you can rub this thing off on you or even um cost you cost you trouble because of this lack of responsibility and immaturity so you need to check that so the third red flag is lack of an irresponsible partner or immature the fourth red flag is not trustworthy trust is important in every relationship be it family relationship business relationship committed relationship marital relationship and if you have a partner that is not trustworthy they are not honest then it will be very hard for the person to be honest to achieve if the person is not even honest with himself or herself they will, be, they will find it hard 
to be honest with you so you might need to check that that is also a red flag the fifth thing is that significant family and friends don't like your partner if um, there's something off about your partner that your family and friends those have known you all your life are saying things about if they are saying something something off about this partner then you need to listen to them so if for instance 70% of your family members your friends are telling you that you need to check this lady or you need to check this guy you feel that there's something about him that we just don't like you might need to listen to them because they've known you all your life and they somehow somehow know the person that would compliment you and so if quite a number of them are saying the same thing or something similar please listen to them that's a red flag so the fifth red flag is significant family and friends do not like your partner very possessive partner if you have a partner that always wants you to themselves they try to drive a wedge between you and your friends they monitor you where you go they monitor who you call who you talk to then you need to check that or they just try to tell you that you have to choose between me or your family or you have to choose between me or this person as an expression of love you have to check that that is a red flag flag is disliking or dishonoring the appearance if you have a partner that does not honor elders does not honor his or her parents talks about them anyhow talks about them in public and embarrasses them or hates them or does not have a good relationship with their parents or even their family members you might need to check that because it is important for into or her to be able to have a good and cordial relationship wonderful relationship with each of our parents and also the family members but for if there is something hot then you might need to find out why it is so and you need to check that you have to check that your parents are people that brought you into this world regardless of whatever they have done for you our own is to forgive them love them pray for them and uh, them take care of them in their old age so if you have a partner that does not see all these things does not see the need to honor his or appearance does not see the need to respect his or appearance or to take care of them the person will dishonor you that's just a thing it is not dishonoring you now dishonoring you later so you need to check that that is a way to learn or learn and relearn See, we, nobody is perfect. We are all in work in progress. But if you have a partner that is not willing to learn new things, to relearn and unlearn things that he, has, he or she has stored up in, in her head or in behavior, then you need to check that. Even a phone does not function with default setting. You, when you buy a new phone, you have to put in your apps, you have to do some things to it, to make it comfortable, uh, to make it compatible with what you want and to be able to do what you want for you daily. So that is how it is. If you are talking to a partner and they say, this is who I am, this is what I have always been, this is what I know, this is who I am and I'm not ready to learn or not ready to change that. I, am, I love the me the way I am. I love me the way I am. Please, you have to check that. People like that that are not willing to learn, or learn and relearn are very dangerous because they will function with default settings. There are some uh, uh, wrong philosophies that they have and that they are not willing to let go. If they are not willing to let go of that, you need to check that. Because it's one thing to know that you have a problem and you're ready to work on it. And it's another thing to feel that you don't have a problem and you're not ready to work on it that is a problem on its own not knowing that you have a problem that you need to work on so that is a red flag flag number nine red flag is history of poor unresolved relationship history of poor unresolved relationship do you have a partner that keeps about mounting their heads they don't give you a reason a very vital reason why they left their former relationship or they keep talking about everybody why they left their friends why they, are, why they are not friends with someone anymore why they are not family with this person anymore and they keep giving you reasons why and they don't have issues like what i mean is that the blame is always on others they are perfect you need to check that if you have a partner like that that does not have or that has unresolved conflict with people bible says follow peace with all men yes so you 
you should have someone that is able to that is at peace with everybody. So if you have a partner that has unresolved conflict with their exes, with family members, with loved ones, with their friends, former friends, that is a red flag because soon they are going to be in that book. And when people ask about you, they are going to be put all the blame on you. So history of poor unresolved conflict. Is a red flag. Then red flag is dark or secretive past. If you have a partner that has a very dark past, before everybody has a past. But if they're not willing to grow from it, if they're not willing to learn from it or talk about it, they are keeping it as a secret and then you find out later on in life. That is very, very bad. That is a red flag. So if you have a partner that has dark or secretive past, maybe illegal activities that they did in the past or addictive behaviors. And they're not willing to um, learn from it. See, it is not a, it is not healthy to go into a relationship with um, us without healing, without healing from anything. If you have someone that is, uh, has addictive behaviors, I usually recommend see a therapist, see a counselor, let them help you through it. If you cannot work on it yourself, but going into another relationship without curing yourself of these addictive behaviors of those bad characters will affect your new relationship so if you have a partner in or her as addictive behaviors dark or secretive past and they're not willing to see someone a therapist or they're not willing to work on it themselves and become healed they are going to affect you in that relationship that you're going through in that your relationship so you need to check it that is a regular final word the eleventh red flag is abusive relationships. Abuse can be verbal, can be emotional, can be psychological, and certainly physical. If you have a partner that is abusive, see that is not just a red flag. It's a huge sign saying, "Please run." That is it. Please run from any sort of abuse, abusive relationship. I would like to say this again: not every relationship is worth saving. Some are way too unhealthy for you to be in it. Alright, so I hope you've learned something from this video today. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share, and also turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Alright, so I'll see you again soon. Bye!